Hello, all my YouTube friends. Box Vandy here from inside the box van. I've been thinking for a while about what I would do if I ran out of power. If it should rain for a couple of days consecutively, it would not be enough power to charge up my batteries because of my constant use. Or if my solar system malfunctions, then what will I do with no power? I have a YouTube channel. I use my devices like my camera on my phones, my laptop. I have to run fans and lights. If I didn't have power, that would not be a good thing. Then I got an email from Blue Eddy. They were offering me the opportunity to review the product. They want me to review their EV55 700 watt 1400 surge 537 watt hour portable power station. I agreed to do it. I really don't do reviews on my channel, but I thought this would benefit me and my subscribers to do the review. So I did agree and I stipulated that I would only do an honest review. I will show the pros and cons. So that's what I agreed to. They send me the Blue Eddy. So today, you're going to get a full review of what I thought. I will share with you the features on this Blue Eddy, the specs, and the pros and cons. I chose not to do a part that shows how much power each device uses because it really doesn't benefit you. Everybody has different devices. This is a 700 watt power station and whatever you use draws however, however many watts it draws and however long you use it depends on how much power it draws from the Blue Eddy. What I did do is test many products or devices and show how many watts it actually draws. At the end of this video, I will share my s summary of what the, I thought was good about this Blue Eddy and what I didn't like. So I'm very excited to give you my honest review of the Blue Eddy EB55 700 watt portable power station. I thought the best place to do the review is right here in my box van because it's where I will be using it. Almost all my electrical devices are right here, so it makes it easy to test and see if they will run on this power station. First things I will share is all great options this EB55 offers. I will share some of the features and the specs and tell you what came in the package. Then I will test many of my devices. Finally, at the end, I will summarize my thoughts, both the pros and cons of this product. It will be a completely honest review. The EB55 Blue Eddy comes with a LiPo 4 lithium ion phosphate battery, life cycle of 2500 plus full life cycles, the management system with BMS over voltage protection and short circuit protection. So the first thing I point out is this has a capability of a Wi-Fi charging for your phone to connect to Bluetooth here up to 15 watts. The handle is recessed. Nice. It weighs about 16 pounds. On the back, it has a three-way light. That is low. High. And SOS. It's venting on the ends to keep it cool so that it is, doesn't overheat. So this Blue Eddy is pretty cool. It has a nice size monitor. I'll show you this, this right now. It's about 100% charged. Here is the charging ports. You can charge it multiple ways, even simultaneously. So it has, can be charged two different things at one time, up to 200 watts each. So for a total of 400 watts at one time. So this here is a power light or power button. 
And down here we have four USB ports for standard USB and one USB-C port. Over here we have four AC plugs for electricity. So we have two three-prong plugs and two two-prong plugs. Up here we have the DC plug for the cigarette lighter uh, uh, items. You can plug a cigarette lighter into there and charge whatever you need to charge with that. It has two 12 volt 10 amp, amp plugs here. So these are output. This is output. This whole over here is output. So when you want to use this plugs, you'll turn that light on. Then you'll get power to these plugs. If you want to use these plugs, you'll turn this light on so you can get power to these. And this here is the standard power light. So that's 13 things. 13 items simultaneously. Just have to watch how many watts you're drawing. It came with a warranty card and a user manual and a certificate of inspection. This is a Blue Eddy AC adapter. It has a fan on each end. The light turns red when it's charging and green when it's full on the Blue Eddy. So it plugs into the wall and has a cord that plugs into here. This is the cord that came for the AC adapter. This goes into the adapter. The other end is a plug that goes in your AC outlet in your rig. It also came with a charging cable to go to your solar panels. These are MC4 connectors, and that's the end that goes into the Blue Eddy. This is a cigarette lighter plug that goes into your vehicle if you want to charge it while you're driving or something. And it'll charge from this end, and this goes into the Blue Eddy to charge the Blue Eddy. So there's three ways to charge it, AC, DC, and solar. I put two lights on, both USB lights together, and they only drew four watts together. I tested my laptop and my cell phone charging at the same time. Together they were 40 watts. About 6 watts on the phone. I wanted to test out the coffee pot 700 watt coffee maker and it takes about four to five minutes. So it drew six, about 625 watts. Since it was breakfast time, I already made the coffee. I decided to test the toaster with the waffles. So here it is drawing 679, 680 watts. Yeah. And it toasted the waffles really well. Everything, I had a great breakfast. The coffee pot and the toaster are rated at 700 watts each. And it drew the battery down 20%. This is another little USB LED light. It used 5 watts. I have a lot of problems with my eyes. They are very dry, and I use eye drops at night and use a moisturized mask, just spray bottle water on it, and heat it up. It's a special mask to draw out the uh, uh, deposits that are built up in the eyelids. So I ran this, and it took 10 watts. Then I tested my old polar fan. On low, it took one watt. On high, it took three watts. Then, because I use my Ryobi power tools all the time, I wanted to test and see how many watts the battery charger for them used. It registered at 35 watts. 
At this point, I had about 60% left of my battery all, after all the things I tested. I decided to test this little ceramic heater. So it ran about an hour, a little over an hour, and it was at about 540 watts. So the results are in. Here's the pros and cons of this product. There are so many things I like about this Blue Eddy EV55. I can tell you some of those. So weighing in at about 16 pounds, I will tell you this product is lightweight and easy even for someone like me with multiple disabilities. I can lift it and move it around easily. It's very compact in size. It will be easy to find places to store it when it's not in use and easy to take with you everywhere. I really like the fact that Blue Eddy provided different ways to charge this power station. They provide the cables to do so. I think that's a great option. Also, I love the fact that it has 13 different outputs that you can hook up your device to in different ways for DC, USB, and AC. And the fact that you can run multiple devices all at the same time I think it really is a good uh, option, good thing. One I think, I think is really good about this product is the SOS function on the light. If I have a problem, emergency, I can set that light out and flash it and somebody will come to my aid. I think that's a really good safety feature for me. So here are some things that I don't like about this power station. The first thing is a monitor. The lights shut off after a couple of seconds automatically on the monitor. I would prefer to have a manual on off switch so I can keep it on as long as I want. On the AC power outlets, there's four in outlets, but only two of them have the ability to plug in a three prong cable. So I think it would have been better to have all four with three prong ability. Sometimes you have more than two things that you have three prongs on. On the over overvolt protection and short circuit protection, you cannot see that on the monitor unless you have a problem. Then it lights up and becomes visible. I wish I had known where they were. I like to know exactly how much power I have in my uh, batteries. So in Blue Eddy EV55, it is shown in 20% increments. You never know exactly how much power you have. You can only estimate it. So I think it would have been better if they had a digital readout that tells you exactly how much power you have available. So these little things are not deal breakers. I still think is a great product. Absolutely would highly recommend to my friends. It will be a great addition to anybody that's living small, traveling a lot, or just wants a backup emergency plan. So after a full review of this product, I do recommend it to anybody that's thinking about purchasing a power station. I think it's a great product. If you have comments about this, please share their, share your thoughts in the comments below this video. I will provide the link to the Blue Eddy product in the description below this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell so you won't miss my next videos. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you for coming. And do make sure you tell somebody how much they matter to you today. It will mean a lot to them. Thank you for coming.